Gamers of Reddit, what was the most f ked up thing you heard in a voice chat? While raiding on World of Warcraft our raid leader's fire alarm went off mid boss pull, open make. He immediately starts yelling and throws his headset down without muting it. In the background all we hear is a fck no. And the sound of a door slamming. After a minute we hear weird cracking and groaning noises so I decide to phone him. Turns out his fridge had caught fire and his small flat was already half engulfed by the time the fire alarm had reacted. If he had not got out then then he probably wouldn't have been alive. Guy was literally standing outside of his flat in no shoes and he sadly lost everything including his clothes that day. A few years down the line and he is doing much better now though. Just the other day in Warzone I heard the funniest death mick after I killed someone. It sounded like some little male kid and he just said. In the most monotone voice. You're adopted. You should kill yourself. Made me laugh because it was so unexpected compared to the normal rage mics and the delivery really sold it. I've heard so many f ked up things over the years. But seeing as how there's a bunch of those. I have a funny moment I won't forget. This guy was crunching very loudly on the mic during a game of Halo. So I decided to grab a soda and chips and crunch back. Then more and more people started chiming in and no joke. Half of the team never said a single word to each other. It was just constant crunching and loud sipping. Normally that's ts annoying. But half a lobby doing it without any other communication was pretty funny. Not me. But my wife. First. Let me paint you a picture. Imagine a woman 8 months pregnant and chock full of hormones. Playing Team Fortress 2. And the hormones didn't make her sad. They made her rage. And she would yell at the screen. Your stupid brainless moth fck or cover the damn opening what the fck is wrong with you fck ing bunch of useless fck ing pussies. She always did well in the overall game score. But was always consistently voted down in her xbox profile rating. I don't understand it. I'm a good player. But nobody likes me. It was then that we discovered that the Kinect microphone had been turned on the whole time. And my pregnant hormonal foaming at the mouth wife had been yelling this shti for weeks on end at a bunch of tweens. Wasn't the most messed up but it was pretty funny. I was playing Overwatch and as we got released to capture the point a dude yelled big dick energy and then silence. And then sorry. I was in this discord server and joined a VC and some dude was talking about how his dad was sx trafficking. A man beating his children. Then his wife when she tried to defend them. Police were called and he was arrested. I was on with his 14 years old son. Some guy I knew got drunk and started talking about how he watched his friends die when they were kids. He was crying telling all of us the story. Everybody was silent. Oh man. MW2 lobby when I was in 8th grade. Two dudes getting into it. Guy 1 said I hope your mother dies. Guy 2 is quiet for a second and says. More solemnly that's f ked up. She got cancer and died about a year back. Full stop. Guy 1 without missing a beat goes explains why she sucked at riding my dick last week then. Overhearing a woman crying in the background because their dog was dead. About 5 minutes later the dog woke up and the guy was trying to convince others that the dog was possessed. Another time in a VR game I caught somebody doing rails just from the sound in their movements. That was funny. Playing Black Ops 2 circa 2013. A clearly 8 year old kept dying and he said well tickle my anus and call me Samantha and that has stuck with me for about 8 years. Once blew up a guy's car in GTA V and he threatened to kill my parents. FCK their corpses then eat them so they registered cyanide with garlic and his jizz. I was honestly too impressed by the creativity to be insulted. Could not stop laughing. My IP address and my mom's full name. Edit. I was 15 playing GTA Online W people in a discord server. Modder who was on VC was creepily hitting on me and blurted out the info. I didn't open GTA for a year after that. Left the server OFC. But now I'm back on GTA lol. 
Yes, it was my first time playing W Complete Strangers on VC. Don't know why people aren't so fond of girls playing? Yup. Learn to not join VC with strangers now. 127. 0. 0. Maybe more funny than F Ked Up. But I was playing Red Orchestra 2, kinda like a World War 2 infantry sim, and we had our team's commander telling us to stop moving forward as he was gonna call in artillery. One squad ignores him and ends up running into friendly artillery killing everyone but the squad leader. The commander then erupts saying I F King told you not advance. Now you've got all your friends blown to bits right in front of you. How does it feel to be covered in gore and blood of your comrades? To which the squad leader replies oh. I'm rock hard baby. Guy on team muffled noises. No. No not right now. Yeah go back. I'm busy right now. I don't care. Other guy on my team wife bugging ya? Yeah? Guy now. It's my daughter it's her dumb birthday party right now. Anyways let's kill these mother fkers. Everyone on my team bro what the fck? Are you serious? What the hell go be with your kid damn you ht dad. We ragged on the guy and eventually guilted him into quitting and hanging out with his 7 year old on her birthday. Man what a fking piece of shti. I'm getting red in the face angry just typing this out. MW2. A couple months ago a dude joins and talks with a very southern accent and one dude piped up and asks if he's a hillbilly. The guy talked through 3 games about what he was doing in his life on his farm. Next thing you know someone asks if he hates black people. Cue the most racist shti that has ever been said in history. I heard a man getting rejected after trying to marry a woman in voice chat one time does that count? The typical toxic kill yourself shti. Except here's the thing. We were playing golf with friends. Was playing Fortnite. Yes. I know. Duos fill when some kid joined my party. He seemed nice so we started chatting. Halfway through the match he died. In response. He screamed and I heard a crash then his mum walks in and just shouts at the top of her voice. Michael. Can't remember actual name. Did you just smash the TV? Then he shouts back oh go suck a dick mum. TLDR. Kid died in Fortnite so he smashed up his TV and told his mum to suck a D. Now he's dead in real life too. Not all that messed up. But confusing for everyone involved. Background dude. BD chick we were gaming with. CG. BD lady. Where are my drugs? CG I ate them. You put mine in order so I take the right ones. BD. How long have you been on there? CG what time is it? BD4. 30. CGO. 17 hours. BD baby. CG I took the wrong ones didn't I? BD yes sweetheart. CG I should probably get that day capsule thingy. BD yeah. That's probably a good idea. CG I should. Get off the game. BD that's probably a good idea too. CG okay. Bye guys. Took us a few minutes to realize they were talking about actual medication and she downed his uppers instead of whatever else she was meant to take. Seemed like a real caring dude. I only had one VC experience. And it was what sounded like a 7 year old using racial slurs. Ah yes. The wee squeaker edgelords. They are among my favorite people to mute. Just the average fap slap. I feel so sheltered compared to y'all. Not really f ked up but really funny. I was playing a CS. Go comp. And a guy was talking right after warm up ended and another guy cut him off and goes you sound like your breath stinks. Brutal. My friend was going afk then a few minutes later I heard oh did I I I I I. Little kids saying how much they want to be in gangs. That's honestly f ked up. I used to live in a third world country. And there were gangs everywhere. I've seen dead bodies on the streets missing limbs and organs. It's honestly horrible that kids that young want to be in gangs. I doubt that if they knew what truly happens. They wouldn't want to be in gangs. But it's still f ked up if you ask me. 
dude screaming at his wife to get the baby to shut up. Bro go be a dad you f king loser. I was like. 12 at the time I think. Went into a Project Gotham Racing Xbox Live Lobby with two other guys. I took them by surprise as they were discussing one of them dating an 11 year old or something. I remember saying something along the lines of WTF and I was booted immediately. Granted I don't know how old they were. But they definitely sounded like adults. Weird stuff. Some English kid sent a voice message to me and my buddy over Xbox Live when we kept hunting him down in CODMW3. In the message he used a lot of profanity and ended with saying you smell like a packy and look like a kebab and then we heard his mother come in roaring at him and the message ended. We were both on the floor laughing. Yo I just f ked your mum while parasailing off of the exploded twin towers. I was playing what and we lost a game. After that one guy's daughter came in and was like. Dad? You broke the table? He was like no. But then she was again like. But you broke the table. This went on for the next match until this point I'm still crying if I think about it. I was gaming once. And I joined the random voice chat. I was talking to the three people in the VC. And they seemed pretty chill. We played Call of Duty together for an hour. Then. The second person turned on his mic. And when he did. His sister. It sounded like a girl. Screamed at the top of her lungs that she was gonna get murdered and that someone was in the house. But the guy just slapped her and yelled. Shut the FCK up bitch. I never met them ever again. And I'm glad I never did. CS. Go veterans telling new players to commit suicide. Don't get mad if you're playing casual. MW2. British guy to an African American guy. I'm going to rip you and lips off and beat you to death w them. Dear god that was really f ked up. This was a few years ago. Honestly don't remember the game. But we're all chatting. And one guy is clearly from Africa based off his accent. And another black guy, American, was asking where he's at. And he says the country in Africa, don't remember which one. The African guy then asked where he's from. And he says America. And then doesn't really respond. So the American guy says something like you air man. I want to visit Africa one day. The motherland and the African guy goes listen here you piece of shti. You stay in the country we sold you to. And everyone just went crazy. I told this story to a friend of mine who travels the world. And he said there are some countries in Africa who absolutely hate black Americans and see them as an embarrassment. So in short. Xbox is a great place to learn about geography. IDK if this counts but my husband was playing Fortnite, I know. I said something to him and a kid goes. Is that your girl? Yeah. Is she hot? That's not cool man she doesn't have any legs. She's sensitive. Oh man. My bad. She sounds cool. My bad mom. I absolutely do have legs. I still don't know why my husband even said that or why the kid was so apologetic. IDK but that interaction is incredibly funny. Is she hot? MW2. Was sitting in the lobby waiting for the game to start. Australians joined the American server. I could hear the Americans what kinda f ked up accent is that and speak English and then I think an Australian guy replied. Remember 9 stroke 11. Yo stfu the lobby then stays quite for a sec then the all I hear is back and forth back and forth haha <laughs> man mw2 lobbies were so toxic. Idk how I survived during those times but I tell ya if I were to go back. I would without hesitation. Ah so when I was young I was on Ventrilo and heard this couple who was in our WoW guild yell at their kids to leave them alone for a bit and the last bit we heard before they cut off the chat was the kids going in a trembling voice but were so hungry. They were kicked from the raid and kicked immediately. A young kid. Probably around 7 or 8. Saying every racial slur in existence. Not f ked up. Just freaking sad. So. Not exactly in VC. Though some of us were also voice chatting. Was playing an MMORPG car. 2011 with a bunch of other nerds. 
We had a guild together. There was an in-game festival that night and we were all just goofing around. Finally parked ourselves on a hill to watch the fireworks. One of our officers went AFK. And then auto logged out. Didn't return for the rest of the night. A few days later when he came online. It was actually his cousin informing us he had suffered a sudden heart attack and passed away. In front of his screen. We were devastated. But grateful to the cousin for letting us know. Not voice chat but. After dominating a guy in a Gears 1 multiplayer match he went AFK for a few minutes and then I received a picture message from him. Up until that point I didn't even know you could send picture messages on Xbox Live. I open it up and... It's a picture of a wide open anus sitting on a black leather chair with blood pouring out of IT. Dot. I was disgusted and a bit shocked. But I figured he was just some edgelord that found a gore picture online and sent it to me to be edgy. But then I notice something. There is a Xbox 360 controller sitting on the chair next to the butt. I then googled how to send picture messages on Xbox Live. And Google's response was. A picture message can only send pictures taken with your Xbox 360 camera accessory. This can only mean that this lunatic took that picture of himself with his bought camera accessory. That's his FCK I'm bleeding asshole in the picture. Not the worst but one that stuck with me. While playing Overwatch I joined a group that was labeled no kids. I don't mind grouping with kids. The party just happened to be the best match for what I wanted to play. Anyway I get in and the host is very clearly a 12-13 year old kid. But I don't care so I don't say anything. Then the group fills up and not a single person says anything about the contradiction either. Then the second a match has started the kid goes haha you've been bamboozled. I'm a prepubescent little fck. Full stop. I was playing tf2 and there was this kid who sounded like a literally baby. Everyone on the server was getting so annoyed. So this one guy said. Hey kid. Why ease? Want a free hat? Okay. Just press F5 to bring up the command bar. And type osi quit osi. Now you might think that it would quit the game but I think it's an inside joke or something. Silence. Laughing. Did I seriously make this kid quit? On wow back in the day it was press alt plus F4 to see something cool. Fire Sword 221 left the game. Daryl 420 left the game. Lightning in a battle left the game. Moonshift left the game. And Albets Forded left the game. Semicolon. It always worked. It got me the first time too. That's how I learned Alt plus F4 closes the program you are using. If I can flip this. This girl in an Overwatch game was constantly. Unabashedly positive. When I was really young I didn't think voice chats could possibly be that bad. Then a few years ago I finally played some games with voice chat. But my voice was still pretty high so one of my first interactions with voice chat was some creep being assist and hitting on me thinking I was a woman. I was only 13-14 around that time. Have been kinda scared about going on voice chat ever since even though I'm a pretty manly sounding man now. I was playing World of Warcraft and one of the guys in the guild had been out drinking. He logged on late and we asked if he wanted to run a dungeon with us so we all hop on vent, voice chat, and start going. About halfway through we hear Ossinate right now. Ossa come and stop. Ossa later. I'm busy. Ossa will you stop? Then a girl's voice saying Ossa I can't believe you'd rather play video games than get your dick sucked. Funniest thing ever. We all told him to leave but at that stage he was like Ossina. The damage is done and kept on playing. I was in a PlayStation party with three of my friends and suddenly we all hear a peeing sound. Remember that the microphone is in the controller headset. Everybody. What the hell who is it? It must be Osogen who left his toilet door open. He was the only one who didn't answer. John. Yeah it's me. But I'm here. He is still peeing. Everybody. Why the fck did you bring your controller with you? Edit. All those commenting that Osai do this my friends do this it takes like 30 seconds to pee and it's a good prank for sure. But nobody, apparently some, 
wants to listen to it. You wouldn't bring you laptop with you if you were on Discord either. It's just weird emo. The dad goes. And don't forget. Just ask the idiots where they live and the mafia will do the rest. I gave him the address of the town's police station. No wonder you're such a horrible mom and a pathetic excuse of a wife. Dude talks to a girl who's being a complete dick to him. So many of us were already done with him and were looking for a reason to ban him on discord. She was one of the last people to show any compassion to him and she was also a mod. We kicked him out moments after that comment. OHH. Story time. I used to be part of a casual raiding group during Warlords of Drina in World of Warcraft. In the middle of a fight. You just hear gunshots in the background and one of our dudes just casually said. Hey guys. I'll be back in a little bit. Sure as shti. He got on a few hours later and apparently. His neighbor across the street had his house shot at. Probably a girl literally getting f -ed. World of Warcraft roleplay is pretty harsh if you get into the wrong guild. I was forced to change my character's backstory. Character. And in game spec because her backstory didn't seem right to the guild master. And told that if I told anyone about it I would be banned from the guild. I'd already seen how that guild got people blacklisted from communities. So I was scared. I'm not part of that guild anymore so I figure the warning doesn't apply. And thank them for reminding me that I need to stand up for myself more often.